heading to Port Williams, or more specifically Stars Point, um, to release a mature bald eagle. Came from around the same area. Local resident was uh, taking a canoe ride at night, or close to night, and found him uh, on the ground in trouble. Well, when he found the bird, it couldn't fly, or it could fly short hops. When we got it, it had a pronounced droop on one wing, and it had um, basically some puncture wounds and cuts and angry looking feet. So we suspect, it's hard to say for sure what happened to him, but we suspect he probably was either in a territorial or a courtship um, entanglement with another eagle, or I mean, he could have collided with something too, but he also had some old scabbing underneath one of his wings. That was a was an older issue, but he basically had pain in one of his wings. He was delivered to us by a, a volunteer transporter, um, and we took him into the clinic and anesthetized him, and we tested him for lead. We x-rayed him to make sure he wasn't broken. We had a good look at his wounds to determine there wasn't anything that needed to be sewed up or anything like that and we determined that he just needed some rest and to rest up his wing issue and to let his feet heal, but nothing significant on the exam, so that was great. Yes, yeah, so we tested him, the lead was negative, and we opted to keep him in the house for a few days to, to watch him quite closely to make sure that he was eating well and that he wasn't showing any other symptoms that we missed, and we moved him within a few days out to one of our smaller enclosures inside our big eagle cage, our big, big, big Jeezley, so he could get good rest for about two weeks. We kept him in there so we could, you know, really make sure he didn't overextend himself. And then we let him out in the flyway. Uh, he's been in the flyway for okay. a couple of weeks, close to, th well, yeah, a couple of weeks, I would say. Um, when he first went out, he was not flying and he was still drooping his wing, but we have graduated perching there so he can just be on lower perches until he can handle more yeah. um, flight. And really within probably four or five days, he was uh, flying like there was nothing wrong with him. He, you could tell he was uncomfortable the first little bit, but uh, then he got using his wings great. He, first he still had a bit of a wing droop, but the more exercise he got, um, you know, for the last week he's been flying pretty much perfectly in there, doing laps and laps, and he's actually agile enough that he can do a U-turn in the flyway, which is pretty amazing considering the flyway is 18 feet wide and his wingspan is probably close to 7 feet, so being able to do a U-turn, you know, with that level of agility is a pretty good sign. Catching him was, it went better than I thought it would. There are three eagles in the flyway right now and we catch them with curtains. So we could have had one eagle or three eagles in between the curtains where we needed to catch them. So um, luckily you sort of learn how to move in the flyway so that they don't try and make them go the direction we want them to go. So um, yeah, it was pretty slick. We got him separated off pretty quickly in between two wider curtains and then once he landed we pulled up another one in the middle of the two so we had him in a, a space that was probably about maybe a sixth the size of the whole enclosure and then we we're able to nab him you know within a couple minutes so yep he's uh traveling with us in a large dog crate and we have it covered he's got good footing underneath him and he's covered with a blanket just to keep him calm i peeked at him already he looks pretty well, he's not happy, but he's not panting or anything like that. So he's just gonna have to chill for the ride to uh, Stars Point, which is about 90 minutes, I think. Yeah, and uh, then we'll release him with the gentleman who found him, which is pretty cool.